Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Coffee with Great Wealth Strategies. Got my little cup of java, and we are ready to roll. This morning, we're going to talk about financial robots and how what we call high-frequency trading, HFT, has completely killed the stock market. So, you know, basically today, people who celebrate the stock market as a place where fortunes can be made are starting to quickly disappear. Typically, these naive individuals do not fully understand the nature of today's market. In the old days, which really was a year or two ago, uh, before the advent of lightning of this lightning fast technology, it was possible to have the fair shot at accruing enough profits to build wealth. While this is technically technically true today, there is a big hurdle that exists, and it is nearly impossible to overcome. The problem in question is what's called high frequency trading (HFT) which is conducted by computer algorithms. Imagine that, competing with software and, and math. Uh, this is capable of computing hundreds of thousands of trades per second. Hundreds of thousands of trades per second. Uh, think you can compete with one of these companies that are doing this on a day-to-day -day basis? I don't think so. And it even gets worse. According to various media outlets, like recently in the New York Times, HFT activities account for between 50 and 75% of the daily volume, that's the daily volume, on the markets. Some outlier estimates by independent bloggers, people out there doing posts and writing about this, put the figure at close to 85%. According for uh, roughly 30 trillion dollars of activities each year. Wall Street institutions that utilize these systems state that HFT provides liquidity to the system, meaning that fast-flowing cash creates opportunities for smart money makers. The reality, however, is that most of the trades happen so quickly that retail investors physically cannot react fast enough, meaning HFT using hedge funds and trading desks reap in billions of dollars per year in profits. Compounding this issue is the propensity for flash crashes to occur. And what are these? Unlike a typical market crash led by human investors, flash crashes are instantaneous and can wipe out a company's value before anyone can react at all. The watershed moment for this phenomenon was on May 6, 2010. Go back and look at it. See what happened. The Dow Jones Industrial Average shed 1,000 points in a fraction of a second. While most of the money was immediately restored, hundreds and hundreds of millions of people and dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars were instantly lost. And that exchange's credibility was significantly tarnished after that. So investors shouldn't trust a stock exchange that is really run by robots that operate by examining headlines and skimming through profits of hardworking people. Uh, they may want to consider cash flow real estate as a means of asset protection. Uh, it's one thing that I have been doing. So Great Wealth Strategies, my company, which is an experience consultancy that helps clients find productive rental properties, could assist you and your invest and investors who want to get out of this unfair market that's run by robots. This is Coffee with GreatWealthStrategies.com. Goodbye.